This is National 9 News with Mike Munro. The future of our nation under debate at the Federal Government's 2020 Ideas Summit here in Canberra. To build a new Australia, to build a better Australia, a better Australia for all of our people. And proud mum Kate Blanchett shows off her new baby at the think tank. Oh, excellent. Very excited about today. Extremely excited. The Gay Waterhouse train Sebring overcomes a slow start to win the Golden Slipper. It might be Sebring from Von Costa, the hero, nothing in it. And cricket meets Bollywood as the Indian Premier League gets underway. <laughs> Good evening. A major meeting of the minds is underway in Canberra and giving the states the power to levy income tax and electricity generated by giant underwater turbines at the mouth of Sydney Harbour are just two of the ideas put forward at Kevin Rudd's 2020 summit. The best and the brightest arrived at Parliament House bright and early, a thousand of them. Some, like civil rights lawyer Julian Burnside, already spouting ideas. A law which would make it an offence for politicians to engage in misleading and deceptive conduct. Inside, Kevin Rudd's summiteers received an Indigenous Australian greeting. <laughs> Ngambri elder Matilda House Williams, draped in a possum fur cape, formally opening proceedings. Welcome to the land of my ancestors. The Prime Minister said he expected the 2020 summit to suggest new directions for the nation and provide new insights into how Australia could be better governed. Today we are throwing open the windows of our democracy to a little bit of fresh air in. Senior ministers all had their own ways of saying the same thing as the delegates broke into groups of a hundred to deal with ten separate subject areas. Let a thousand policy flowers bloom. Well, this weekend is a hunting licence for new ideas. In some subgroups they held their ideas aloft on large sheets of paper or stuck them up on post-it notes. But mostly delegates just spoke out. A large underwater turbine at Sydney Heads and at Port Phillip Bay Heads driven by the tidal currents. Institute a national paid maternity leave scheme straight away. The levy on coal exports and um, the money that we raised from that would be going into clean technology, renewable energy. In one group, the Prime Minister listened with interest to an economist who suggested giving the states power to levy income tax or sales taxes. In another, he suggested that schools could serve a broader role as community support centres for families. And when the 100 delegates discussing governance were asked if any of them opposed the Republic, only one lonely hand went up. Laurie Oakes, Nine News. And the Prime Minister personally invited actress Kate Blanchett to discuss Australia's creative future at the summit and not even having a newborn baby was going to stop her from attending. In fact, the little bloke was determined to have his voice heard as well. There were a thousand delegates, but it was Kate Blanchett and her newborn son Ignatius who were turning heads. The 38-year-old Oscar-winning actress had no chance of keeping a low profile, and six-day-old Ignatius managed to upstage his famous mum without nearly batting an eyelid. The Prime Minister had told the Hollywood star there was no pressure to be here, but she was determined to attend. Oh, excellent. Very excited about today. Extremely excited. And the balancing act between new mum and summit delegate impressed everyone, not least friend and fellow Hollywood star Hugh Jackman. Kate Blanchett is a superwoman. Look, she's amazing on every level. I, I, I think she's flawless as a person, and I'm thrilled that she's sort of leading our stream. Inside, Kate warned her creative arts audience. If I have to snake away, I'm feeding our little Iggy. Oh, God, there goes the baby in the hallway. <laughs> Down to business, and from writers to filmmakers, they listen to Kate argue the arts are not just mere entertainment, but integral to a nation's identity and vital in helping us become more creative at every level. It binds communities, it liberates demons, it challenges authorities, warms our hearts and cools our tempers. Not just the arts, but in, in the areas of economics or science or mathematics. How do you become more creative in those fields? Both Hollywood stars pushed the importance of education. As echoed in so many discussions here today, they've called for an education system that will make Australia a world leader come 2020. Daniel Street, Nine News. 